Hey Miners, what is up SuperMinePod here and welcome back to another video. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily install mods into your Minecraft. Um, because I make a lot of mod support lights on my channel, people have been asking how do you install mods into your Minecraft? Do you just do it manually, tracking the class files into your .minecraft folder? Or on your .minecraft, uh, or in your minecraft.jar file? Um, no, I don't do that. I use the magic launcher. It's a pretty fancy launcher. Um, we don't gonna open that yet. First, I want you to go into your dot Minecraft folder. How you get there is go ahead and open a uh, Windows Explorer window and click here at the top and type in person update person. This way um, will work on Windows 7 and Windows 8 and probably also earlier. I don't really know that. Um, but you go to your dot Minecraft folder and then you will see these files. I want you to delete all of these. But probably you don't want to lose your saves or whatever. Um, so make a new folder on your desktop and in documents, it doesn't really matter. And call it something like Minecraft Backup. I called it Minecraft Backup Files. Um, probably I want to don't bag up my safe, I don't want to lose them. My stats, texture packs, servers and lost again, so I'm copy those. Paste those in, make sure you didn't uh, forgot anything. Now you can just select everything and delete it to get a clean Minecraft. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy my last login as servers very quickly because I don't wanna log in right now when I'm gonna update. So now uh, open the uh, Minecraft vanilla launcher. Um, probably it's hidden right now in my email address and so on. Because I don't wanna know, uh, I don't want you to see my email address so it gets spammed. Go to options force update and to log in. I believe you don't even need to do that but for sure you can do. It's gonna update um, your Minecraft. We will wait a little little time until it's done. And there it is. A brand new Minecraft. Very clean. There are no mods still in our um, .minecraft folder before there were some in it. Um, but now it's totally clean, so we're gonna quit the game. Now we can uh, open up the magic launcher. But before we get into it, um, probably you have already downloaded some mods. Make sure to put them all in the same folder. I am here in the Minecraft mods folder. As you can see, there are three mods in it: Race Minimap, Minecraft Forge, and Lofty Fine. So I want to have those mods installed right now. Go ahead and open the magic launcher. Uh, first what you will see are some tabs here on top. Um, this is the official Minecraft update news. Um, it doesn't work right now, I don't know why. Probably they're working on it. Um, Reddit, some Twitter pages, uh, Tumblr, the Minecraft forums and the Minecraft wiki. So what we want to do is go here to setup and we can make some different profiles, some different configurations. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna create a new one. We're gonna call it modded because we're gonna install mods in here. Um, and the next thing you basically need to know is you have here a mods tab and an advanced tab. We want to go to the mods tab and install some mods. So go ahead and click that, go to your desktop, or my desktop, and click uh, the folder where we install our mods in. So first we want to have the Minecraft Forge uh, because it's some sort of a mod loader. It's the most important mod actually of all of them. Um, it's sometimes it says like what errors with the Minecraft Forge, but that doesn't matter. You know, you don't need to care of that. It's just not really important to look to that. So we're gonna add some more mods. We want to have this minimap. We want to have all the files. So, and that's basically about it. You can uh, put them up. So if you put the microforge totally down, it, the other mods will say, oh, it doesn't have mod loader, or it's not compatible. So I move the microforge all the way to the top. You can also replace some if you, the mod has an update, so that's really great actually. Um, you can also remove some if you don't need Optifine anymore. Click and remove, we don't want to have that right now. Um, so yeah, you can also, if you have external mods, you can click manage and 
go ahead and install them, manage them, go to your uh, .micro folder and then mods folder in there. But uh, we don't need that right now. Also in advance, very great, uh, you can set a window size. So if you want to record in uh, 720 pixels, it's really great to set your window size to exact this good size. Um, on Windows 8 or Windows 7, it's different. I have Windows 8, and for me, it is uh, this. Uh, let's see. That. That's it for me. Uh, but on Windows 7, it's this. Hold on. Um, I have it right about here on the file. Right about here, as you can see. Windows 8 or Windows 7. Um, and because I have Windows 8, I'm gonna um, use the Windows 8 one by 760, I believe. Yeah, 760. Okay, and you also can allocate more memory to your Minecraft. So, um, by default, it's just uh, 500 megabytes, and that's not really enough if you want to do a lot of TNT explosions and so on. Um, and over here, you see what well, I'm going to buy this for two. Um, I have in my computer right now 12 gigabytes of RAM, but I don't want to allocate all of the RAM I have on the computer um, to my bed. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, I actually need to um, put more RAM into my computer. I, I would like to have 16 or so. Uh, but whatever, <laughs> it's not really going about those videos. We're going a little bit off topic. Um, but here, I want to allocate 4 gigabytes. That's what I usually do. So I type in the amount of MB it is, so it's right about there, and don't care about the other things, it's not really that important, so you click OK, and there you can choose your configurations, your different profiles, and um, yeah, that's about that part, so options, you can just choose whatever the language, it's, it's not really there yet, um, snapshots, you can just upgrade, downgrade, and so on, um, but this is not really the screen where you will be for most of the times. So um, let's go ahead and log in. And probably what you will see is that the screen now starts bigger than usual than the uh, Minecraft screen that was there before. It's uh, exactly 720 pixels, so it's now great to also record your minecraft and yeah that's really great as you can see the mods are installed optifine the um forge mods the minecraft coder pack um i've been going into coding again but it didn't have really the best results so the base minimap as you can see over here eclipse but um <laughs> I, I didn't know it was really into forge no i didn't really know that but um, <laughs> whatever. Um, so now we can play Minecraft again. It works perfectly fine. I'm going to show you that the mods actually also will work. So let's just uh, open this world here. And it's creating the worlds for us. And we have now a brand new Minecraft, of course. Okay, I'm putting the worlds back. I'm not going to do a lot because, um, you know, this doesn't records very smooth I think um, let's go ahead and see you can see in the right top corner the race minimap it's working all great and Optifine I'm going to show you the extra settings over here you see Optifine is working great um, just how we want to look it um, so we can go to quality better grass on clear water one everything like that that Optifine at so that's basically about this episode, about this video, so if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below the video, and also hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, and check out all of my awesome videos here on YouTube. So everyone, thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, I hope I helped you out, so everyone, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Bye!